Thanks again, people, for tuning in to the show. It's your boy, Coach's Desk, with another preview. And this time, we look at the women's 400-meter hurdles and the men's 400-meter hurdles as well. And as we kick things off, we're going to talk about the females first, definitely. So when you look at the names, we have a Rhonda White, Sprint Tech, one of the red-hot favorite in this event. Um, she goes in as the number one. Then you have a Geneva Russell, MVP athlete, uh, Cheyenne Salmon, Adidas. Uh, then you have a Leah Nugent, Rochelle Clayton, uh, world championship bronze medalist, Lashonda Graham, Kimisha Chambers, Ristalana Bailey Cole, uh, Chanel Tucker, Nikita Tracy, Devika Thangarasa. Who will come out on top in this event, people? It seems to me that it would have been set. I am going to say without reservation that it's going to be a battle between Cheyenne, Rhonda, and Geneve. Those three. Um, for who to come forth, and I'm not certain who is able to, 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 to break this trio. trio sorry. Um, it could be a Rochelle Clayton, it could be a, a Leah Nugent. Rochelle Clayton is a very tough competitor. Um, she's very determined. Um, she has been doing pretty well. Um, over the years, she would have had her struggles, but she maintained, she pushed through the hard work, and now she would have won a world championship bronze medal. She is definitely um, out there, want to go animate the Olympic team as well. So if anybody could break this trail, uh, it could be a, a Rochelle Clayton, definitely people. Leah Nugent, we have not seen much of her for the past few years. Um, so I, I really can't say anything about Aaliyah Nugent at this time. But we know that she's a tough competitor as well. So, um, I mean, definitely not much to say about the 400 meter hurdles for women. Easy pick. But what say you, viewers and subscribers? What say you? Let me hear your choice in the comment section. Or, or let me see <laughs> your choice in the comment section. Um, trust me. Rhonda has been doing excellently well. So I have no doubt it's going to be a, a big battle between Rhonda and Geneva Russell. Cheyenne Salman should be in there. And as I said before, a Rochelle Clayton, definitely. Um, let us flip the script and look at the men's side of things. Um, not much to say about the men either. <laughs> Oh man, not much to say about the men people. Um, we have 15 competitors lined up. Um, this should be like um, semi-finals and finals. So I mean, top four possible make it out of, of each round or each eat. Uh, we have a Leonardo Legister, Texas A&M athlete. He leads the pack coming in, into this uh event yes you have a kemar moet trs adam durham puma andre clark puma sean rowe gw express javier brown jamaica college uh you have a jaheel hyde swept track club Roxroy kato lifestyle athletics out of canada uh kemar eldemeyer chase athletics troy white gc foster connor atkinson duke university Malik James King, Legacy Athletics, Sean Callowan, St. Augustine, uh, Marvin Williams, St. Thomas University, and Owen Russell, Racers. This one is hard to pick people. And when I say hard, it is in terms of the quality of this event. Do we have the athletes who will produce competitive time in this event? Um... Trust me, it's, it's going to be tough for these at least because if you're not running 48 low, 47 high, it's going to be very difficult for you to medal at the Olympics. You know what I mean? And uh, in my estimation, Leonardo Legister is the man right now. He's the man to beat. Kemar Mowit um, would have been doing um, good over the years or doing well over the years. Um, we're not certain what he will be coming with as well. Uh, many of these athletes have not competed uh, more than, uh, than they would in, in, in previous years. So it's very difficult to, 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 to make a prediction in, in this event. 
Uh, we have uh, Andre Clark, which is a very tough and strong competitor. Jail Hyde, world, 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 world under 20 champion. He should come to the fore. He should be able to step up and make this team at this time with this weak field. It, it's sad to say it, it is indeed a weak field. You know what I mean? So he should step up and, and make this team a rock. So Aikito, very tough competitor. Let's see what he will bring. I mean, there, there's not much persons and names to call in this event, even though there are 15 athletes listed. But um, it's down to who will execute on the day, in my estimation. It, 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 it <laughs> it's sad to say. We need some, we need some, we need some, some male athletes to step up. And somebody did say that we're going to be surprised because the male athletes are going to step up at the national trials. Because, of course, you know, this is the national stadium. This is where the competition starts. And if, if, if they can't do it at this level, then it's going to be very difficult at the Olympic level. So, I mean, definitely... These two events, I, I, I certainly went straight and say um, Leonardo Legister is the man to beat in this event. Um, barring anything, whether injury or any mishap, he's the man to take this event. I say that without reservation based on how he has been running throughout this season on the collegiate uh, circuit. And then again, somebody will say I'm contradicting myself because the collegiate athletes have been doing too much work. And when they, like the U.S., when they went to the trials, they, they actually don't really feature, but it's not in all event. So you have to look into that right now. It's not in all event. So let's see how that one goes, people. Yeah, man, let's see how that one goes. Thanks again for tuning into the show. Thank you for your comments because I'm awaiting your comments down below in the comment section. I want to see those comments. I want to see your prediction. And certainly I know that you'll be coming with them. <laughs> People, I love the comments. Chuck and feel comments. Chuck and feel fans, you are the best out there. Trust me. Big up on yourself, man. And continue to support the movement of Coaches Desk. We'll try as best as possible to continue to give you solid content. To continue to... Uh, keep you in the know, keep you informed on uh, what is happening in track and field, especially in Jamaica and by extension the world because this is a global sport people, one of the biggest sports in the world, uh, track and field. Uh, it, it spans many disciplines, so you know what I mean. Thanks again people, big up yourself, I'm out.